I should I should now talk he to my... lives like up on I mean he's got livestock well and, fair like, he's fair. up on the yeah <clears throat> but I mean regardless the bighorns are pretty big and They're wind big. sweeps through there and it's not a small fire it's a big fire it's a big fire and wind around here is not a small wind it's not a small it's wind. A wind it's a big wind also <laughs> and in the course of eight hours that could change dramatically mm. um, I should talk to my grandma and see if she's I'm sure she's contacting They're about them. 73 73 thousand acres uh, the oh last my God last week zero percent containment. East Coast is underwater and West Coast on fire. What's up? That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and Kamala has given out four hundred dollar checks to everybody that oh has my gosh, a, that has that a flood was, for flood relief. If you have been severely, like, are you serious? Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Are like, you serious right now? <laughs> I, got, I got into a conversation about that with my boss this morning. He said something, uh, something about us sending a shitload of money over to like Lebanon or something like that. Uh, we yeah, should, we we sent. Uh, it was like seven point three billion dollars over to Ukraine. Well, yeah, Ukraine, and then and recently then, is like some, I think some Lebanon thing or something. I can't, mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't follow closely enough. Uh, but he said he made that comment, and I was like, well, yeah, that's that's fine though, didn't you hear? Kamala's yeah. given like seven hundred bucks to people that <laughs> their houses are underwater and they lost all their animals and their insurance claims aren't working and going through. And <laughs> here's your seven hundred dollar check. Good luck out there. Like, yeah. Thanks. What? And then, that and doesn't then, make any and then sense. they're threatening to uh, arrest people who are helping other people. Uh, what? That's the government <laughs> for you. Check out our episode on the fat electrician and uh, the oh, cash God. McClunkers. Good Lord. 307 Reacts. I'm Matt. That's Chris. Yo. On the screen in front of us is Joseph David Jones. The name of the song is Yippie Kaye YKY. It's the official visualizer, not an actual video, but it is oh, a visualizer. Is that's what it's, I mean, I'm just reading it now for the first time. For it. Should let we me, look it let up? Let me find it. Okay, give us a second here. We yeah, might just yeah. go a boop and then find the thing. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, yeah, how's uh, how's things where you're, where you're living? Is your state on fire? Is uh, your part of the country underwater? Is, uh... Is your government official doing everything they can to help you out the way they should be? Probably not. And probably not. Pr- probably yes to the first thing and probably no to the second thing. Well, we, we feel for you out here. Um, we've been fortunate enough that we live in the prairie, and we've only had small fires this year, so it's been kind of, I don't know how or why, but we've kind of flown under the radar, so to speak, uh, in terms of fire, and, and we don't ever get floods out here because we're, we're five 7,000 feet up in the air, and, and we just don't, we don't have big bodies of water around oh. us. Uh, so yeah, I guess there isn't a music video. I thought there was, but there's not. It's all right. So that's we can do okay. a visualizer. And yeah. if it's anything like some of the visualizers we've seen recently, it might be pretty it might good. Might be pretty good. Some yeah. of the visual, some of them could almost pass as a music video. Yeah. Like AI is getting pretty good with who, that kind of stuff. Who was it that we watched recently that it was like, um, oh, this is, uh, um, uh, 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 uh what do they call it? Where they put the words on, words on the screen. Um, like a lyric, like a sing along, a lyric video, a lyric right? Video. He's like, <laughs> like, he's like, oh, it's a lyric video, but then he films himself singing the song with the lyrics under. I'm like, yeah, bro, it's a music. That video. that's a music video. It's just a low budget music that's, video. That like, is like that legitimately is a music video. Yeah, more than what most local bands do. And so. one of the I can't remember what artist it was, but one of them had like the little the little monster truck like going over the scenery in the bottom of the. Oh thing. yeah, that uh, was uh that was up church. That was an up church. It was the little like ra- the little truck on like the eight bit game. Yep, fucking, yep. Yeah, that was, that was a good sick. one also. So, anyways, we're excited to see yeah. what happens here. Uh, I don't think we've had Joseph David Jones on the channel yet. I don't think so. I found him on Instagram, and I was like. This little snippet, he's got a good voice, so let's let's check him out. Here you go. Official first time reaction. I'm gonna put that yeah. in the clickbaity title for this. First time reaction first time to hearing. Metallica. Someone had oh, it was the charismatic voice. No offense to the charismatic voice. She had yeah. first time hearing glycerin by Bush on her thing the other day. And just for some reason I was like, Man, I just I, I have a hard time believing that. Even <laughs> maybe maybe it was your first time actually realizing that glycerin was sang was, by Bush. Like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I, there's no way you haven't been walking through Walmart or like at a at a car wash a or CBS. something. Yes. Yeah, and, and <laughs> haven't heard that on the speakers. Maybe you know you didn't pick the song, but I. It's hard. It's hard for me to believe that you haven't heard it. It's yeah. like people that haven't never heard Breaking Benjamin. Like, come on. I know it's first on the radio. First time reacting to ACDC. And it's like, like, first time hearing ACDC. And it's like, I don't believe you. I'm sorry, but I just don't believe you. I, I think you've heard them before. Maybe you weren't specifically looking for it, but you have heard them. But, but this but, is our 
first This is time. a genuine first time hearing. Never heard him before. Chris has heard a little bit. Uh, just And that's what brought him to the page. So yep. we're going to go for it. Like, comment, subscribe if you're along for the ride. We're a reaction channel. We pause during our reactions because we like to analyze things as we go because neither of us have the attention capacity or, uh, or brain cells. Or the mental cells. capacity. Yeah, the brain cells <laughs> to make it to the end of the video and analyze everything we've just seen. It's so, a capacity issue. <laughs> it's every time. Let's go. Let's go. It's not a visualizer. It's a video. In mid July, the lights in the field they were burning bright. Okay. Heard the band playing. Dude's loud. playing it at the campfire back there. Saw her dancing in oh, the crowd, cool. and I prayed to God for one more song. Hell yeah, dude! You should call me by surprise. Grab my hand and move just right now. I'm lip locked in love just for tonight. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Damn, you look good on my tailgate. Driving my blues away. Long tan legs and a cowboy boots. Sipping on shine and a daisy dudes. Take me for. Oh, I love it, my black Chive. Dude, <laughs> amazing mix. So good. Dude, and uh, the uh, like the bridge thing leading up to the chorus. Yeah. Awesome. It set yeah. up perfectly for that nice drop into this super classy feeling chorus line. I, like, that's I, good, man. I don't want to say um, he sounds like Brooks and Dunn because he doesn't, but he has that... Uh, um, like that era when Brooks and Dunn was like the biggest thing. Okay, like okay. they were on the radio, which I mean they still are. Yeah, but yeah. Well, it was around like, here, this is the new thing on the radio, and it was like they were huge. Like that era of music, that mid two thousands that kind of came along, that still had that kind of nineties influence that had an edge yeah, to it. His his voice matches that era very well it's got like that early synthesized drum sound to it but like mm. in a good way like yeah. where where yeah, the yeah. producers actually knew what they were doing with like a mm. digital snare and like and i was going to ask you so w would you classify this as a country is this a country song so this is technically because of the chorus country pop okay okay but, okay that makes sense yeah but the verse the verses is a very much uh like um, it would be like '90s '90s country with a little bit of southern rock. Okay, it's kind of the okay. the vibe I get. And see, that's the thing. Like, I, I I vibe with this chorus big yeah. time. Like, it's good. It's got it's got a good feel to it. It's got kind of a J Webb feel and to I, that chorus. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, I get that. Um, it it just it seems weird. Someone like me with my musical mm -hmm. preferences, like like vibing with a chorus like this. Yeah. That's why I was like, I gotta check myself really quick. And, <laughs> am I over here bopping to a country song? Cause like cool. it's pretty good. It's pretty good, man. I gotta give it to him. Did yeah. you go back? I did. All I right, did. let's keep it going. This is good, man. You look good on my tailgate, driving my blues away. Long tan legs and a cowboy boots, sipping on shine and a daisy dudes. Take me for. She was riding shotgun. Headed back to the party because we weren't done. Oh! Mm. One more, just a nightcap because she liked that. And I might have to go around two with you. Two more shots, and I'm right back. Oh, what let's go! Chevy hot and heavy where she want to be. We left the party once again, twice a hurry three. O'clock in the morning, let's get going. Coming on with me. Girl, let's head out of my truck and just before we leave. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, now now let me ask again. I'm very novice when it comes DIY to country, country. Stuff. Is that okay? <laughs> Just DIY. I know I know that Brooks and Dunn, and uh, we're going to keep mm. – well, I, that's kind of one of the only ones I know how to reference. Uh, mm. They have kind of like that faster speaking, like spoken – I don't um, want to call it rap because I don't think I, it's I rap. would say the closest thing that you're probably thinking of is Dirt Road Anthem by Jason Aldean. Okay, sure. Would be the closest yeah. that – um, Something similar to that. Yeah, I Brooks feel and like... Dunn never really got too much into that. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, they may have had one or two here, but like 
Jason, Jason Aldean. Aldean was really the forefront of that as well as like Colt Ford Colt exclusively Ford. came out with country rap. Maybe that's what I'm hearing. I dated yeah. a girl like 10 years ago, maybe a little mm-hmm. bit longer than that now, who like Colt Ford was like, mm-hmm. that's what we listen to when we get in my car. Yeah. And it was absolute torture for me every single time <laughs> I got in that vehicle. But I did learn yeah. a lot about like, you okay. Know, the, the crazy thing is, is back in the day, he was like the only one doing it. And so like and it that's was something why new it was and it was really super cool. Super influential, yeah. But now with like Upchurch and Demon Jones and Adam Calhoun, the thing is, is like they've all done songs with him because he's like the OG. He was the one. Okay. But okay. He is his music is trash compared See, to See, and guys. that's what like and <laughs> that's the thing. Isn't there some controversy with Colt Ford? Didn't he go like uh as uh as far as the Upchurch Calhoun group is concerned? Is there controversy with that? Or was it something? They've all else? done songs with him, so I don't know. Who's Adam the, just recently did a song with him with uh Who is the other country artist that they were like they did oh, the guy that, that made a claim and then came back and said sorry for it or something like that? Luke Luke was that Luke Combs? Luke Combs. Luke Combs? Yeah. yeah, Luke uh, Combs. Okay, so different, different guy. Different guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I get I, I I my knowledge on this stuff is like <laughs> you know, toe deep here so Ooh. like yeah 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 uh dirt road anthem is is definitely the first mainstream hit the radio country okay. rap this that... this girl like she knew all she knew all the raps which i thought was you know it's impressive in its yeah. own right like okay all right girl like get yeah. it do your rap like thing. bubba sparks was another one that came out with colt ford too. okay okay yeah, colt ford, bubba sparks yep okay all right yeah. this uh, had to sarah check ross which God, I wish you were there for that concert. Uh, who who was it? Was it? Uh, um, oh, it was the boys we went and saw in Denver, the first time when they came to Casper. Um, it was they opened for Brandon Hart. Oh, the um, Moonshine, Moonshine Bandits. Moonshine Bandits. Yeah. Yes. So Moonshine Bandits had Sarah Ross, which Sarah Ross, oh, okay, was the first female country rapper to come in with Colt Ford and Bubba Sparks and like two other people on one song, oh, okay. and it was like that's the one that hit big. And like everybody okay. kind of knew who they were, but Sarah Ross performed that song with the Moonshine Bandits at the show, and uh, oh my god, dude, okay. it was so fucking good. All right, all right. But I had yeah. to get I had to get my mind around the little rap because I know that's been a thing for a while. I just like the was co- trying to figure out country like, rap history has been interesting. Yeah, that's like, what I've gathered. It's, it's it's been a very interesting thing. Yeah. There's been a lot of controversy in it. Mm. There's been a lot of people who are like that doesn't belong there. Yeah. Which I guess if you think about most genres, that's in every genre. Yeah, like like yeah. punk rock music wasn't supposed to be. It wasn't supposed like, to be widely accepted. The, the pop punk was like, oh my god, oh, it's pop. Oh we my can't god. Have that all time low went through the shit uh, yeah. hawthorne heights went through the shit with the screamo emo thing even though there mm. was like 10 bands before them that influenced them to do what they were doing yeah but because hawthorne heights made it on the radio everyone was like you you i'm pointing my finger at you you're the one <laughs> target target on that guy and it was like right okay all right so yeah i guess they've all had their thing yeah, yeah. i mean it, every genre is gonna have it i like how this guy i mean I, i'm hearing country country pop I'm hearing a banjo, and uh, I believe a, I heard a little bit of mandolin in there. There's a piano in there, too. You can hear it in some the low piano, ends. So it's got some of that old, like, gospel bluegrass yep. type stuff. Yep. Where, uh, okay, so country, gospel bluegrass, southern rock. Um, Hip-hop. Com, com, uh, country rap. Com, come tree. Come, come tree. <laughs> beep, beep, come tree. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, Demonetized. Country rap, and then, uh, you know, and, and, and then pop. I mean, I'm hearing yeah. everything. Yeah, like, it's got a little bit of everything. It's good. Which is great, because... Who wouldn't like it? I like that he's doing the little drops right before the choruses too. It, it, yeah. it, it lends this big open space when the chorus hits to just have this nice, comfortable landing. Yes. And the chorus has a good vibe to it. Let's go. Rock in the morning, let's get going, coming on with me. Girl, let's head out up in my truck and just before we leave. Let's dip the guy in my back to the base. I love that. Ship it on. That's just a straight up rap beat. That's a hip hop beat under there. Yeah. yeah. With a banjo on it. 
One shot. God, yeah. that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a one shot, dude. I just realized that. Oh. Well, the camera never changed angles. It never, it never like shifted. It was one shot all the way, <laughs> all the way through. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I can't tell what state. Maybe Texas. Oh, oh, Where that okay. plate's from. Oh, but, that plate? Yeah. It's blurry right now. Yeah, if I went back. But we have a lot of Texas plates here. <laughs> I sure do. And that does look like a Texas plate. Okay, who knows? It's so fucking hard to tell. <laughs> who knows? But anyway, um, I would love to know if all the lighting was done with trucks. Uh, that's what I saw the light like, bar in the background. there was a light bar on this side, and then I wonder if there was a like light headlights? behind the cameraman. like doing. Yeah, the, just like a truck with headlights or, psh, yeah. on the one side of him. And then some backfill from the other side. Yeah. It, Joseph, if you come across this, let us know, man. I, I thought first. Because if that's how you did that, when we shoot a music video for a band, that's dude, what we're doing. I am doing that. That's what we're like, doing. That is sick. I, I could have swore that at the beginning, the the background was like an AI generated. Like, I thought he just had like a... Uh, like a green screen with some like Yeah, like people a green screen background. And he was just doing the thing in front of it. Nope. Yeah. End of the video, he just walks right back there and like... You can hear go. the fire crackling yeah. and like... That was... That was a... Dope. All one take. Visualizer. That is not a visualizer, okay. Joseph. If you come across this, Mr. Yes. Jones, uh, Mr. Jones and me, um, <laughs> that is not a visualizer. That's a music video. I'm just it letting is. you know. That is uh, a dope one, too. I would consider that a music video all day long. I, now, granted, Damn. there were no other scenes or no other actors or anything like that, but... See, that's the thing. Is like people think a music what video does it have has to, to be, be like... Yeah. Like, uh, check out yesterday's with Tom and Nova, okay? Sure, that's a music video. That's it's a, got lots of scenes. It's got some quick cuts and all this crazy Hell of a music stuff. video. Okay, like great music. Oh my video. god! This also as far, as far as a video goes. Now, mind you, two totally different oh, like yeah. stories oh, and yeah. whatever. But yeah. like, also a great music video. But I mean, like, we have we have a moving camera with uh with uh, the the main actor or the artist, the singer, whatever you want to call it, in the in the shot, mm. moving the whole time. Like to me, a visualizer usually doesn't involve any of the actual artist or anything at all. Usually, it's just like a background. With some things the moving visualizer around. visualizer doesn't require you to set up a set. And it goes in a loop, and it just yeah. kind of does that over and over. They went out somewhere with their boys, had the song play over a system, if had lights set up. I mean, they, if they we were, set if up we a If we were shoot. doing a music video for a solo artist yes. and had this kind of a vibe to it, this is exactly, exactly what, like, what we would do. We, so we can do one location yeah. with one camera. We with, can do it in one take. With a couple of lights <laughs> in one take, and we can all have a great time doing it. Yeah. And it won't cost you hardly anything because we barely have to bring any equipment. Yeah. Someone bring an acoustic guitar and someone bring some firewood and some chairs. And we're, we're there. drinking some gas. We're, we're, we're there. Like, I consider that a, a music video and a great one at that. The yeah. song is awesome. Five out of five, dude. Five out of five. Uh, I wonder if he's self-produced or um, if he's I, got someone helping him. I would or... love to know. I mean... It looks like this particular uh, visualizer went through Vivo, which a lot of artists oh, kind of do. I had a thing to, through uh, Vivo once, yeah. Like, you know, help promote them and stuff, which is nice. Um, I'm just looking on here to see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything about, it just says, it doesn't say anything about a production studio or publisher or anything like that on here. Yeah. Interesting. Be, I'd be interested to know. Again. How many views I got? Mr. Jones, if you, almost a million views. Let's go. Since, since the 4th of July. Way well, to go, sir. Go, very, dude. very well done. Very, very well done. 
And again, for someone who's not in, not really into the country thing, you had yeah. me you had me vibing the first time that course dropped. I was like, all right, dude, this is good. Yeah, this let's is get it. pretty good, man. <laughs> so keep it up. Uh, looking forward to more content from you, man. And yeah. if you're cool with it, we will keep having you on the screen. Absolutely. So. Hey, man, keep dropping excellent content. Yeah, boy. Um, you don't have to go out and shoot these crazy music videos. Something like this is perfect yeah perfect so honestly i kind of appreciate these more yeah because it really sure. it, it speaks to just getting out and doing the thing yeah and it shows that you don't have to hire a bunch of people and a bunch of actors and have 15 different cameras the, the difference is okay it's not that they don't care it's that they don't care they care about the art and they don't care what the outcome is they go you know what i'm gonna put this out here and if you like it cool if you don't you don't but, like, I am doing something. This is my music. This is what I've done. This is a video of me yeah. hanging out with my friends. And we got together and did a thing. Yep. And if it gets five views, it whatever, five views, cool. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I appreciate the fact that it kind of gives us an insight into his life as well. Mm. Like, I feel like this is kind of just what him and his friends would do on a weekend anyways. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to go out to this campground or whatever, mm. have a fire, hang out, bring a guitar, yeah. drink some beers, yeah. have a good time, have a night. And instead, it's let's go do that. But at the same rate, I'm going to bring a camera. Hey, and I'm I just gonna dropped a music. song. You yeah. guys mind uh, just sitting here while I do my thing? Speaking Smoking. of which, this man has 2,000, 20, 2,700 subscribers on YouTube and has a video with almost a million views on it. Damn. You can do it, people. You if you want to do it, you We're can do it. We're going to go right here. We're just going to. We're just going to. Fucking click that subscribe. Okay. Click the bell ding. to all. There's the bell. It said it's all. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Done. Subscribe. Just like that, people. It's as easy as that. I don't know if I still have the screen cap up or not, but it's as easy as that. It's as easy and as that. Ours always pops up at the end of the video, and it does a yeah. little ch -ch -ch ding just to remind you that Unless it's, I it's down forget there. It and, and it's totally. <laughs> I never forget it, okay? I, I don't I ever forget it in my edits. The one that I did a live stream on Twitch on me editing an episode you forgot to put it I, in i was exporting it and i went <laughs> fuck like, oh, and forgot. james bond is like what and i was like don't worry about it bro yeah, that's fine. <laughs> like, it's fine if you make it to the end of every episode you'll know exactly you'll know, what i forgot <laughs> you'll know exactly what i missed because it'll just uh, end yeah <laughs> But anyways, that was amazing. Five out of five. Keep it, it up, is. and uh, we're excited to see more. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did, yeah, be sure to leave a big old thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, click the bell, become part of the notification, notification gang. gang. We'll see y'all next time. Ow. yippee ki motherfuckers.